Story Time with Mrs. Farnsworth. How the Cow Jumped Over the Moon. From the book How the Cow Jumped Over the Moon and Other Silly Stories. One day in the warm summer, the farmer and his wife determined to drive to the town to sell their butter and eggs and bring back some groceries in exchange for them. While they were gone, Bobby was to be left alone. We shall not be back till late in the evening, said his mother. For the weather is too warm to dry very fast, but I have left you a dish of bread and milk for your supper. Be a good boy and amuse yourself with your fiddle until we return. Bobby promised to be good and look after the house. And then his father and mother drove away to the town. The boy was not entirely alone, for there was the big black tabby cat lying upon the floor in the kitchen, and with the little yellow dog barking at the wagon as it drove away, and the big mooing cow sitting in the pasture down by the brook. Animals are often very good company, and Bobby did not feel nearly as lonely as he would had there been no living thing around the house. Besides, he had some work to do in the garden, pulling up the weeds that grew thick in the carrot bed. When the last faint sounds of the wheels had died away, he went into the garden and began his task. The little dog went too, for dogs love to be with people and to watch what is going on. He sat down near Bobby and perked up his ears and wagged his tail and seemed to take a great interest in Bobby's task of weeding. Once in a while, he would rush away to chase a butterfly or bark at a beetle that crawled through the garden, but he always came back to the boy and stayed near his side. Eventually, the cat, which found it lonely in the big, empty kitchen, now that Bobby's mother was gone, came walking into the garden also and lay down in the sunshine and lazily watched the boy at his work. The dog, Towser, and the cat were good friends, having lived together so long that they did not care to fight each other. By the time the carrot bed was weeded, the sun was sinking behind the edge of the forest and the new moon rising in the east. Bobby began to feel hungry and went into the house for his dish of bread and milk. I'll take my supper down to the brook, he said to himself, and sit upon the bank. And I'll take my fiddle too, to pass the time until father and mother come home. Bobby took his fiddle under his arm and carried the dish of bread and milk down to the bank. He sat upon the edge and, placing his fiddle beside him, leaned against a tree and began to eat his supper. The little dog had followed at his heels, and the cat also came slowly walking after him. As Bobby ate, they sat one on either side of him and looked as if they too were hungry. So he threw some of the bread to Towser, who swallowed it in the twinkling of an eye. Bobby left some milk in the dish for the cat, and she came lazily up and drank it in a dainty fashion. Then Bobby picked up his fiddle and began to play some of the pretty tunes he knew. As he played, he watched the moon rise higher and higher until it was reflected in the water of the brook. Indeed, Bobby could not tell which was the plainest to see, the moon in the sky or in the water. The little dog lay quietly on one side of him and the cat softly purred upon the other. Even the cow was attracted by the music and wandered near. After a time, when Bobby had played all the tunes he knew, he laid the fiddle down beside him, near to where the cat slept and then he lay down and began to think. Very soon Bobby's eyes closed and he forgot all about the dog and the cat and the cow and the fiddle and he dreamed he was Jack the Giant Killer 
and was just about to slay the biggest giant in the world. While he dreamed, the cat sat up and stretched herself, and then began wagging her long tail, watching the moon that was reflected in the water. But the fiddle lay just behind her, and as she moved her tail, she drew it between the strings where it caught fast. Then she gave her tail a jerk and pulled the fiddle against the tree, which made a loud noise. This frightened the cat, and she started to run, but still the fiddle clung to her tail, and at every step it made such a noise that she screamed with terror. In her fright, she ran straight toward the cow, which seeing a black streak coming at her and hearing the racket made by the fiddle also became frightened and made such a jump to get out of the way that she leapt right across the brook over the very spot where the moon shone in the water. I hope you like that story about how the cow jumped over the moon. I liked it. Until next time, bye!